This is a podcast where we just vibe. <laughs> Can you see my feet? Okay, good. My friends tried to gaslight me into believing I didn't meet One Direction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, smash that subscribe smash button. Smash that like button. Okay. Can't wait. See ya. Bye. Bye. Hi guys, and welcome to the Just Us Vibing podcast, a podcast meant to celebrate the youth we still have left. My name is Nate Jones, and fun fact, I used to wear like wristbands on my ankles because my wrists were too small. (laughs) Hi, I'm Ryan, and fun fact, I don't have my license, so my sister drove me here. (laughs) And hi, my name is Ziad, and fun fact, I just had a great sandwich for lunch. And today we are joined with Zoe, um, Hello. Zoe, can you tell us something about yourself? Yes. Hi, my name is Zoe, and fun fact, I used to play soccer in college, but I... Collegiate soccer? But I never no, she's played a real athlete. because I tore my ACL, and then COVID oh. happened, and then I was like, mm, I'm going to quit. So I'm quitting. I quit already. But it still tells a lot about your personality. Right. Soccer athlete. Even if you didn't play. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Soccer girl. <laughs> soccer girl. Yeah. Awesome. Strap in. It's rapid fire question time, baby. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, in our first little segment here, we usually do like a rapid fire question round just to get to know you a little bit better. Okay. Um, and so I can start us off. Um, I was going to ask you, I think, what was one of your favorite meals growing up? Favorite meal? Oh, uh, like breakfast or like? No, just like, I mean. Like, <laughs> wait, I'm confused. They're they're gonna, like peanut butter jelly sandwich. Oh. Like what? mac and I'm, cheese. Like, oh, okay. Like an actual Ooh. item. Like an actual <laughs> item. Honestly, mac and cheese. I'm not joking. Okay. Yeah. Creative. Yeah. yeah. Mac and cheese for sure. I would, like craft. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Not yes. any. Yes. I've never had craft mac and cheese. What? Oh. But. You not the hand over there. <laughs> it's okay. Um, <laughs> next question. Are you pro or anti <laughs> emojis? Oh, I'm pro emoji. I use emoji. Pro emoji? Wow. Yeah, but like I, I do it like in a funny way. Like I'm not like. Like, if I'm crying, I'm not like going to send, like, a crying emoji, because then it's just funny. It just makes it funny, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I feel that. Yeah. I feel like you're so cool, like, I feel like you'd be anti-emoji, but really that makes just, me like, feel very good, serious, because I'm like, pro-emoji, but mm-hmm. people roast me for that. I'm pro-emoji, but in a funny way. Okay. So, like, not What's in your a... most used emoji? Should I pull it up? Should yeah. I look? Okay, let me see. Let's look. Honestly, I don't know. It's you like... heard it here first, folks. <laughs> it's like the eggplant emoji. Just kidding. Oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, that's... Oh, it's honestly just a heart. Oh. Wait, that's mine. A red heart. But like is... the next one is a red fiery heart. So okay, that's red very fiery heart. heart. I've Have never seen that, seen that. It's that a before. new one. It's a new one. It's a new oh, one. Oh, that is a new one. Or Someone this one. <laughs> or the like rolling eyes yeah. emoji. I do that a lot. Send that one a okay. lot to people. Nice. In conclusion, she's pro emoji, guys. Pro emoji. Anyway, it's Jan. Yeah. So you're an athlete. I am not. Used to. Yes. I, I mean, was an Same athlete. Same really. right. Always an athlete. Of course. Um, like, what is, like, the most memorable moment of, like, your, like, Ooh. athletic career, like, growing up? Like, not, like, in college, but, like, when yeah. you were, like, a kid. Like, what yeah, is the moment when you were, like, I'm good at this or, like, I'm uh, bad at this? Can I do it in high school? Yeah. Okay, so in high school, we always had, like, CIF, which is, like, the most intense. Like, high school soccer is, like, funny, you know? Mm. And not funny, but it's, like, for some reason taken so seriously. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, like, CIF would be, like, the big tournament that we would we'd go to, like, Whoever got to the top would be like the battle of like, you know what I mean? It's just like very dramatic. But we ended up losing my senior year. But we thought we were going to win. And I, it was because it was like overtime. So whoever scored was basically going to win. And I scored like a crazy ass, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Crazy ass <laughs> goal. And like there was so many people in the crowd and it was like insane. We were like running down the sidelines. Like it was just like really amazing. But then we ended up losing. Were you offside? Or they scored two goals after. No, that. I scored. No, yeah, they scored. It was like a. Pe- it was so rich. They scored another goal that was meant to penalties. You lost the penalties. Yes, yes, that's what happened. That's tragic. But that's it, intense though. Literally, like I thought, like in my head, we we're like, oh, I won the game. You know, we were like running, but it was really like in the moment, it was amazing. After it wasn't, but it's cool. It was I'm not, cool. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of that went over my head. It's okay. Same. The penalties. The pe- okay. Yeah, like, I, like <laughs> I used to play. Okay. I used to play FIFA with my brothers. Okay. So, I mean, yeah. Is that cool. kind of what it yeah, was? A little bit. Um, my question is like, when you were younger, like what, what was one of your most memorable birthdays? Like, what did you do? Oh, (laughs) sorry. (laughs) Um, I would say the one birthday I had, I had a Justin Bieber cutout there. It was just like a sleepover, you know, all your little closest friends in elementary school. I had like a candy cake that my aunt made. So it was just like literally made out of candy. 
just all mm. around it. But I had a Justin Bieber cut out there, so it was That's really That's so cool. funny because behind this door is Justin Bieber. Oh, my God. <laughs> Come out. I'm kidding. No, I'm, I'm kidding. not. I'm not Ellen. <laughs> that actually would be believable if the doors didn't it's... have locks on them. <laughs> and there wasn't a couch. Right there. Yeah, so, yeah. 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 yeah we, like we keep him in there. <laughs> yeah. He's suffocating. Kidnapped him. <laughs> yeah. Justin Bieber cut out, though. It made the birthday, I think. So, yeah. Love nice. Next question. When you play Truth or Dare... <laughs> Which option dare. are you? Are you you're the dare, dare girl, dare. really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Truth is boring. Like, what are you gonna? What are you gonna ask me? What my favorite? Because like dare people get so disgusting with dares. So like I'm I just gonna it. preserve myself and like do a truth. Really? See, yeah. I'm more of like I want to hear what your dare would be, so I can see if I could do it or not. Mm. Dare, like, mm. Soccer oh girl gosh. energy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That. No, I'm yeah. very much a dare pick. Yeah. Yeah. Daring. I love Daring, that. Yeah. <laughs> Who is your most played? Artist of the last year. Oh my god, are you talking about on Spotify? Yeah. Okay, you guys are gonna. Sh- no, well, not Apple Glee Music. Cast. Not Apple Music. Is no. it Glee Cast? <gasps> Apple Music. Oh, no. I it was either it. Glee Cast or Apple Music. What the hell is Glee Cats? Like no Glee. <gasps> Cats. <laughs> Glee cast, the cast of Glee. Oh, some people that's like, like, number like for some people, that's literally their number one. Some people, I mean oh, me. No, oh, oh. No, I'm kidding. It's not <laughs> we love Glee. No, we love um, Glee. I don't have a Spotify. Okay, but who do you think was your most played artist then on Apple Music? No, I literally don't know. Who do you hope it was? Fucking who was yours? Guess. <laughs> no, she would <laughs> literally <laughs> never guess. Your I don't think one. I would ever it's, guess. His is probably like the guy who sings "Astronaut in the Ocean." What? Who sings that? <laughs> who sings that? I don't, know. I don't even Who know. Who is yours? Do you Wait, know mine's Grace yeah, and Chance. Yeah, no, mine is Ariana Grande. I'm a big Ariana fan for life. My, mine was Grace and Chance, okay. but my number two was Justin Bieber. Mine was Dua Lipa. Oh, period. Wait, who was Dua it? Zo- Zo- it's who usually you, Billy. Who do you hope yours was? Hope? Like, what do you mean? Like, who do you, like, for me, like, I wish mine was Troy Sivan. Or I mm. wish mine was Sam Smith. I sw- mm. Mine was probably Tyler, the creator. Mm. Probably. I would assume. That makes sense. Oh, so she's cool. <laughs> I mean, she's not like other girls everyone's she's like, like Dua Lipa girls. Ariana Grande like she's like <laughs> ever heard of Tyler the Creator I don't like Tyler right? <laughs> no I think, cool. I think it might have been Tyler honestly Got What it. It, my, my question is like what is your vibe of movies that you like I like, like scary movies oh. but like, I mean I, not just to sit and watch by myself but if I were to watch mm. something by myself I really like comedy or you know like who doesn't like a rom-com I love I guess, a rom-com you're you know? kind of just naming every I'm, genre right? no, I, like, <laughs> I like everything no um what do I not like, movie-wise? I don't know. I, I'm kind of like into all movies, but I love scary movies. What's your favorite rom-com? Ooh, that, oh, you're asking very, very hard questions. <clears throat> um, Ten Things I Hated. Is that a rom-com? Yeah. yeah. Mm, that's not I really think... rom-com though, huh? Or is it? I don't know. I'll, we'll give it to you. We'll... What's your favorite rom-com? Um, I really like Crazy Stupid Love. Oh, I love that one actually. But that's also like only one, one of the only ones I can think of right now. Right. <laughs> Okay. I know. <laughs> okay, mine is, mine is High School Musical. Oh, yeah. That's a rom-com. That's not a rom-com. Oh, it's not I mean, no, rom-com. No. there's romance and there's comedy. It's actually not a, but I, that's what came to mind. No. No Disney Channel original movie is, is a rom-com. rom-com. No, absolutely not. Wait, that's a you, weird take. You, no, you can't. There's it definitely rom-coms that no, Disney Channel. No, there's not. The <laughs> only one that maybe kind of counts is Starstruck. <laughs> and we that's like that's that like movie. pushing the line. No, I don't know anything. Wow. I kind of like remember go when through. everyone crushed on him. Yes. I wonder where he's at now. You should bring him on here. Let us know in the yeah. comments. Sterling is Knight, it... if you see this, please. I'm back. But was Starstruck the movie that came out the same night as Dad Napped? No. They would never do that. There was, there was, I never watched that. No, Dad, it was one Nickelodeon movie. And Dad one Napped? Movie that maybe that. Like they maybe came that. out the same night. I don't know what like, the movie was. I remember being like stressed as a kid about like which one we'd watch. And we tried to watch both like during the commercial breaks of the other. I'm d- oh, yeah. I used to do that too, actually. If you were a singer... What would be the name of your first single Ooh. and your album? Obviously, you don't have to like write the song right now, but what we would can, the name though. of it be? Or we could. Write a song. Yeah. You can, mm-hmm. like, if it's in your head. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> first song and album name. Mm-hmm. Like, would you be like Christina Aguilera and have your first album be like Christina? Oh. Or was that Christina? Or maybe that was your second album. But like, would it be like Zoe? Mm-hmm. Like Zoe Fish. Yes. Ooh, maybe it could be that. I was thinking like Swedish Fish. Oh, no, like that's giving me too much Swedish. Olivia Rodrigo sour, <laughs> <laughs> which we love. Swedish fish. Imagine, maybe just like zoe fish. Or like, there's only one fish in this sea. I don't uh, know. No. We're just gonna <laughs> <laughs> pass on. Um, so we know what it wouldn't be. 
yeah, I guess it would just be Zoe Fish. I feel like that's so fucking boring. A lot of people think but your last name like, is Fish. No, yeah. oh my God. Do you want to know something funny? So when I went to Miami, I was trying to get a room key because I didn't, I lost my room key like multiple times on that trip. But I was like, yeah, I need to get a new room key. And she was like, oh, like, can I see your ID? I gave it to her and she was like, oh, like, we don't have your name under this list. And I'm like, well, it's my room. Like, I know yeah. my name. Is like, she's like, no, we have it under, like, Zoe Fish. Like, she literally <laughs> thought my last name was Fish. So, so many people like, do. It's Lerma. So can I have yeah. another person <laughs> you, please? It was so funny. But, it's like, Lerma. No, even people on my team, like, people that I knew thought my last name was Fish. Yeah. Like, I mean, Fisher. Or look how, that- did you, like, how did you come up with that? Though? Oh, my God. So, you know, in middle school when everyone had, like, quirky, mm-hmm. yeah. quirky usernames. So yeah, I was, like, yeah. Everyone would call me Zoe, like, which is, like, I like being called Zoe. So I was like, mm, I need like a new username. And so I'd be like, okay, what rhymes with Zoe? Koi. Oh, I Koi never fish, even... Zoe fish. And then like. Oh my so I've God. Had name of... Zoe fish. Yeah, you could say that too. People say that. Zoe but fish. But it's like, <laughs> Zoe fish. And people like in middle school started calling me that. Like Zoe oh fish. Do you have a Koi fish? fish? You should get like a no, Koi I fish. No, I want one. I should get a Koi fish tattoo. Oh my God. I love that. What's up everyone? It's time for TBT. Okay. In our next segment, which is entitled TBT, um, we respond to some TBT-esque things that we likely cool. played with when we were younger. And our producer, Olivia, here is so we can direct our attention. There. Yes. And Olivia's okay. going to say them as well while we show. So the first one is Webkins. Webkins. I literally Webkins. love Webkins. Like yeah. the most important part of my childhood. No, yeah. But I remember my mom would like buy us so many. Honestly, it, w- it really wasn't that big of m- in my childhood. Is that no. bad, too? Did you Wait, have one? I, I think I had one, for sure. The webcam. I'm so, like, lame. No. I'm like, I didn't have webcams Wait, so you didn't play webcams? So, like, what did you play? Apple Music. <laughs> <laughs> Apple, oh, my God. No, you yeah, see, I had a webcams. Huh? You used to play computer games. I did a little. Thanks for stealing. I did. I did. Like, oh, okay. I did. Which one? What bit. computer games? Like, <laughs> I feel like you're in a roast. Wait, what computer games did you guys play? Pop Tropica. Sims. That was like my favorite. No, Webkins yeah, was my favorite. Zoo Tycoon. Webkins was my favorite. Well, you, honestly, you were an athlete, so you were probably like, getting outside and like getting <laughs> yeah, I was getting some and sun. we were inside and getting, getting some UV light. Like I loved it, like when it was like raining outside and it was indoor recess because yeah. the teachers let us get out the computers and play Webkins. Next one. The next one is. Chicken. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Amazing. I, I, that was like my favorite. I obsessed. can't. No, it's just like so funny to look at them now and like see how different paths mm. they are on yes. now. But I literally mm. met Zendaya in a movie theater. I remember when what? she was on Shake It Up and I like freaked out. And, and she was like, oh my God, I wish I had that picture still because she just looked so different. Yeah. But like, it's just so funny. Oh, I miss Shake It Up. Yeah, no, same. I never watched Shake It Up. You didn't? What? No. You're yeah. very Apple Music right now. <laughs> I, I feel like there's, there's a whole like class of Gen Zers who there literally is. believe that like Shake It Up was like the devil spawn but um, I, I used like, to watch that. loved Shake It Up I loved Zendaya I literally wanted to dress like them wanted to be like them I got Re- Doc Martens yeah, style was questionable I'm looking at that picture, I, don't care. That picture I and, I'm, and I'm wondering Ryan why you saw that and we're like I want to dress like that are you that. kidding I literally when I the say I got yes. I got Doc Martens and those the, like high up to the knee oh, covers because had of them that, yeah because everyone had those I remember that that's so interesting but Shake It Up was probably the last show I watched on Disney like exactly when I grew out of Disney I feel that that too honestly that was like a little bit of me but i just remember watching it a lot still yeah. mine was good luck charlie that oh was my yeah, god good luck, charlie, good luck Char- i went to a showing for good luck charlie i love they that. had showings I'm for real. good luck charlie <laughs> unreal i got it for free that's why i went but oh. iconic I still met like bob duncan and stuff <gasps> bob duncan oh. yeah it's like I, it's that's a huge that's a big <laughs> Wait, flag where is the baby now not the no, baby. I saw something about the baby. baby. <laughs> yeah, no, she was the getting baby. Little, the tr- like, the, ba- death threats the baby why? from Good like, Luck Charlie is the baby. <laughs> no, like, <laughs> no, she is. No, okay, yeah, I remember. Next one. Oh Lunchable. my god. Okay, pizza. <laughs> what? Okay, um, what is that? I literally hate the pizza one. No, I don't think any of their food was good, but they had such good marketing I that we all wanted it. I hated the pizza one. I didn't want it. Right? Oh. Okay, did anyone like the pizza one? I don't think any Lunchables were good. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I have never had a Lunchable in my life. <gasps> However, I was, like, fully aware of their impact and everything. Like, all my friends had Lunchables. Impact? They were very impactful. Reset. Yeah, no, they were super impactful. Like, I remember wanting, yeah, like, yes. I, I wanted them super badly. Yes. My mom was like, yes. no. Yes. Wait, like, social impact. Like, they did good in No. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> No, like they're Lunchable sports Black Lives Matter. <laughs> oh. No. Do they? <laughs> oh 
Unreal. Um, no. No, my mom would never give me these. Yeah, exactly. So I, 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 I bet you have like Annie's. Annie's. No, I didn't. I had crap. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, this is <laughs> this is giving me Zoe's at CTI or whatever that CTI. What was that soccer tournament you just said? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's at CIF like, with it. You wouldn't just grab one before your field trip or something, but the not the nacho ones aren't up there. Nacho ones were popular. Yeah. What What was that? Not they were all popular. But oh my god! I cannot believe you guys right now. I, mean, I, ate, I definitely ate Lunchables, but my mom was like, "Don't buy them." But like, I would bag. <laughs> yeah, like, they had such, like, Lunchables. And, do you remember dinner? Like, what's it called? Le- <gasps> no, something cuisine. Kids yeah, cuisine. I used to eat kids, those too. Kids cuisine was better. Lunchables. I, like my mom was like, I used to like eat Lunchables too. were bad or didn't like kids cuisine was actually kind of good. But it was, it was like, bad for you. It was bad for you. pudding. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's how I remember. But like, it was. But both of them had like good marketing. Oh my god! I wish I had a kids cuisine right here. Just so. We should do that. Behind the door. <laughs> right That's there, a good idea. Next time. Justin next time. Bieber holding Yo, a kid's cuisine. Next time you guys need to bring a kid's cuisine and a Lunchable for people who haven't tried it. Yes. Yes. And yes. Spotify Very subscription. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Soulja Boy. Oh. Soulja Boy. No, this was a like a big part of my childhood. Sing it. Soldier boy in it. Oh, I'll be cranked out, I'll be proud. Superman, like, so I'll be you. You. <laughs> no, yeah. When was Soldier Boy, like, popping, honestly? Does Always, know? forever, now. Too. Now when, he is. Whenever we were going to bar mitzvahs. Yes, yeah, yes. Mitzvah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Okay, next. Yeah. Okay, next one is. Oh, happy, happy meals. meals. Oh, just when happier times. Happier times. What would you? What was your order from McDonald's? This is awful. My Uh-oh, answer is awful. I'm scared. I would get like been. like a hamburger, but without the burger. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? So just bread? What? Bread and cheese. Ew! Oh, it's like a grilled cheese. It's not grilled. No, but like, but it's not like grilled. a burger patty with melted cheese. Oh, so you you wouldn't get. Bread. I would call it a toasty. <laughs> Wait, time out. This time is out. I'm so right is, it the, is it out the, was it out the meat or without the bread? I'm confused. Yeah, I'm confused. Without the meat. So wait, so then what are you trying to do? So wait, so, 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 so it is a grilled cheese, but without being grilled. But like on a burger patty, and I would go up to McDonald's and be like, can I have a cheeseburger without the burger? I'm not were kidding. You like the only one so and your parents were like, yeah, go up. My, I made my mom order it. I was like six. Oh and my she God, was like, no. I support this behavior. <laughs> She's no. a great woman. Oh, we love your mom. We love our mom. Nate's mom. Chicken nuggets. I guys. Make different choices. I've never even had a burger from McDonald's. I would always get chicken I... McNuggets with apple slices and caramel. Mm. Oh, that okay. was good. Yeah. No, I would I would honestly just never Oh my god, I haven't actually eaten like a hamburger from McDonald's in years. Yeah. I don't eat But beef I used anymore. to eat like hamburgers from McDonald's when I was younger. Yeah, when Didn't I was when I was though. younger, yeah, but I haven't eaten any like meat from McDonald's? Either. No, like absolutely no. not. A long time. But like, chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets for sure. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Like, but like, either, but like yeah. I don't. Do they use real meat? I don't know. Like, I don't. Where are the I those don't videos know. go viral on Facebook the like every meat. week, and they're like, look the at the pink chicks meat. that they have put in the disintegrator, yeah. whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, literally, I'd go back the next day and get <laughs> my McNuggets. Okay, can I get yeah. chicken nuggets? So funny. I'm like on Uber Eats when they say that. That is so funny. Okay, one last one. Last one is baby alive. Oh my gosh! This just this just like triggered something in my head, in my memory head, my memory head. <laughs> Baby memory alive! Brain. Oh my god! Me and my sister used to have one of these. How old is your sister? She's my age. She's my stepsister. Okay. So like okay. we're the same age, but like you know. But oh nice! Wow! Wow! What this is you, weird. I have no idea what I'm looking at, but I know that I feel scared. No, like I remember like making the little food for them, like putting it in. We had to mix it with water. That's the only way you'd be able to make it, and like. Fe- Putting the spoon like in its like mouth. Oh, I I never had one of these, but I remember seeing the commercials and like. Why were they like marketing like f- like a ch- you know children like <laughs> to children. taking care children of to children. taking care of a baby to children? Yeah, I don't know why. But, I, and the diaper. I literally always wondered that. The like, why diaper. Do kids like to no, have fake babies. The baby would shit or yeah. pee, and you'd have to change the diaper. Like it would actually come what? out. And you'd have to change the diaper like you're a mother. Where did it come from? Like it just there had was like a, automatic. Just, there's just like a it? hole. Science. No, Science. it was like when you would feed them the water mixture, whatever it would the fuck. Come out. It would come out the other end. So. Baby alive. A God, baby I cannot so believe real. that's real. It's just like that I've really never seen this me. in my life. I'm not familiar really? with this, but like oh, this, whatever I'm looking at, one. like it makes me feel really unsettled. Like it feels like the beginning of a horror movie. No, yeah. Like what? Time for recess. So in our next segment, we are going to be playing a little game. As you know, we have our recess every episode. And so for today's recess, we are going to be playing what I like to call the spinoff game. And so I or 
the beautiful Olivia, our producer, <laughs> will be coming up with some TV shows from our childhood, or really just any TV show that's like super important to Gen Z. And we will come up with a character from that show who we feel like should have had a spinoff, and we will develop what that spinoff should have looked like and what it would have been called. Yeah. Mm. Exciting. First up, the show will start easy is iCarly. iCarly. Donut Man. Oh my god, we love him. We love him. What would it be about? Him. Like Tebow. Tebow, yeah. Yes. Tebow needs his own food show. Like yes. he needs to have a spin-off. Yeah. With The Great Tebow Bake Off. Mm. Like a cooking show. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, like a literal like a cooking show. No, Tebow needs to have his own show though. Like or, or like Spencer. A reacting, or like a reaction show. Like Or Spencer, like, a... like with like like an art, like an art uh, mm. competition show. Do you know what I mean? What I'm talking about. You know, what? I was thinking, I honestly, and I can't believe yeah. you guys have said it. I feel like Gibby should have gotten a spinoff. Well, no. yeah, that's Gibby just... should have gotten one, and I feel like it should have been about him, and he like becomes like a comedy extraordinaire, and he starts like his own version of SNL. Oh, I love that. okay, but I'm thinking about right. the Spencer Art Show. Like, you know, there's all these like reality shows. Like, what was the that's one what I was saying? Like a about, competition like, show. And flow on Netflix about like yes, oh. like like it was a good show, but like if there was like an art show, like there was like artists competing, but Spencer's the that's judge. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Yeah. I love this idea, yeah. and like it could be called like Spence. I Spence. artsy. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Oh, thank you, Zoe. I artsy. I artsy. I, I swear, it's like the na- a name of a show on iCarly already. Probably. Maybe. No, yeah. you know, there's like names. Okay, of my mind immediately went to that girl that trapped them in her fucking basement. Nora. And Mandy. And then it, yeah. Nora. Oh, is it Nora or Mandy? Nora. Mandy. Nora. Nora. I thought it was Mandy. Nora. And it's a horror film. Oh. Oh. And oh. that's the whole movie. Yeah. Okay. That's the whole movie. Is <laughs> maybe it's like a, maybe it's like a horror comedy, like scary movie. I feel like you could never be seriously watching a horror movie, and then like Nora shows up on your screen, Imagine. and it would totally be called Nora. Like no doubt in my mind. <laughs> just Nora. Oh, that's that. like kind of creepy. Mm-hmm. Give me like chills. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A little bit. So. That's Next funny. one. All right. Next show is Hannah Montana. Okay. Um. Let's see. Oh, Rico. Like, it would be like the show of like how Rico like became like the next Jeff Bezos. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, Rico's Revenge. Rico's Revenge. And it'd be called that's such that's such an easy. Wait, one. literally, we just gave Disney an idea. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Come on, Disney. Like, Hop on pay this, us, us what we we're like a worth. Powerful commentary on like consumer culture. No. Mm, yeah. It would giving, just be fun. It's giving yawn. It's, just, it's, it's giving yawn. <laughs> I think Rico's Revenge, and yeah. I think yeah. It's just okay. Yeah. My next TV show is Glee. <laughs> so I oh my God. Every, didn't every watch character. Glee either. <gasps> Sorry, that's the, that's the podcast, guys. That's the show. Um, we have to go now. <laughs> Take it away. Our next guest will be someone who watched Glee. <laughs> someone who has Spotify. Yeah. Someone who watched Glee. Um, no, oh, wow. I, I tried to watch Glee. <gasps> No, that makes it worse. No, I. Be better if you were like, I just like never tried it. I never no, that's the thing. I tried, and then like it wasn't even like I'm bored. It was just like I just never followed through with it. But like all of my friends in middle school watched it. Yeah. It was being a Gleek was like such a cultural. moment. I know it was, mm. and I was just never a part of it. It was oh, such a powerful so cultural moment. Wait, but every character deserves to spit on. Yeah. Like, literally. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Every, every, I like, no, seriously. I'm just like sitting here like agreeing with everything. Yeah. Just don't. Okay, so yeah, wait. She's, not, she's never seen Glee, so let's, let's, let's think of a new show. show. Okay. New show, new show, new show. The next show is... You're taking a long time with this one. I can help you. Okay, please. Zoe. That's so Raven. Well, Cory in the House got a spinoff. Yeah. Oh, right? wait, that but was. I feel I feel like honestly, I was gonna say Corey, Corey in the house. Corey should have never gotten a spinoff. I'm sorry. <laughs> like like Corey in the house was good, but I feel like it was so random, you know? Like But it was iconic. Corey. Like if you ever read a chef for the president's No, chef, like it was great. It was yeah, that's crazy. No, Corey in the house was great, but again, I still I stand by Corey the fact that like when if you look at the lineup of characters, I would never think like this guy like needs a spinoff. Right. Spin-off. Zach and Cody got a spinoff of oh. Zach and Cody. Yeah. Like, Sweet Life. Sweet Life. Of just the game Sweet Life on deck. Well, actually. It oh, was Sweet Life. I feel like, like they didn't really regard that as a spinoff. Yeah. It was just a, you know, it was, it was just like an extension. Yeah, it was literally just a rebrand of oh, which the one was better? original show. Which one's better? On deck. So, Sweet Life on deck. So which one's better? On deck or the original? I just have, like, more memories with, like, the original. Me too. For sure. But, like, I also have a lot of memories with on deck. Like, Debbie Ryan was... An icon. Debbie Ryan was everything. <laughs> yes. I loved her, but like I, I don't know. I feel like I had more memories of Zach and Cody. Me too. Like that's where I developed my crush for Dylan Sprouse. Mm-hmm. Does it still? I mean? Still resonates. Okay, Dylan, Dylan, if, if you're, you're watching, out there, 
I'm like, wait, who, <laughs> I was kidding. Wait, who do you think would get a spinoff on that show? Dylan. I mean, oh, wait, Zach? what? That's Zach. Zach, that's sorry. Zach, yeah. yeah, but. Wait, for no. me, it's definitely. London. Esteban. Yes, Mr. Oh, do you mean. No. Oh, Esteban, Esteban is a good I answer. Seen them. Or Mr. Mosby. Esteban literally. Having... About what? Like. What? I just think he's iconic. <laughs> Wait, who? I think London would like the 100% oh, London needs one. have a show and it would literally be a parody of like The Simple Life because she's second. already yeah. a, par- a parody of Paris Hilton Wait, yeah. and it would be so Wait, no, no, funny. talk about a crossover but have Paris Hilton in London Tipton in the same show. Oh, that would actually but, like, be cool. London oh, Tipton like, acting friend. as London Tipton yeah. and Paris Hilton acting as oh, herself. That so good. No, and, that like, would actually be That'd be so funny. What was Ashley Tisdale's character's name? Maddie. Maddie. Maddie, yeah. Also an icon. Even them together. I would, yeah. Like, if no. you saw them now, like, then and now, like, London Tipton and Maddie. Who is Ashley Tisdale? She's on TikTok. Yeah. I've seen her on TikTok. Have you? I yeah. have not. Why and have she, I like, not had seen a her? kid and she named it, like, Jupiter. Oh, don't they all? Oh. We, we're love all planets, love astrology. Don't they I actually all don't name know them? anything about astrology. Um, you don't? What's your sign? Libra? Oh, you, you're a tattoo. I'm a Capricorn. I was going to guess Capricorn. Yeah. What's I'm yours? This is like my least favorite conversation. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm so, Are you a Taurus? Are you a Taurus? Are you a Taurus? No. Are you a Virgo? No. What are you? An Aries cusp. Oh my god. Aries men are scary. Yeah. So. Men are, tra- men are trash. Yeah, I'm really scary. Honestly, all men signs are just scary. Any sign yeah. a man has is scary. So yeah. that's what it is. That's mm-hmm. what we've. Yeah. Yeah, fuck men. No, but also right? we celebrate all people and. But we're love accepting everyone. of everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's get serious. It's reflection time. So Zoe, for our last segment, Mm -hmm. you know, as young people, I think we've all sort of been in this like weird space of like, okay, next thing, next thing, Mm -hmm. next thing, right? And sometimes we're caught up in that, right? right? And so what we want to do is hopefully this podcast, right, gives us an opportunity to just like remember the, you know, the silly moments, right? Mm -hmm. And the moments that made us laugh and, and that made us feel like ourselves. And so... When you look back, right, on, on your soccer, on your life, right, mm-hmm. on your, like, childhood, what is the advice that you'd give your younger self to find more moments of joy and, like, right. to get you to the place that you're at today? Okay. I think mine, it's such a cliche, honestly, but what isn't when you're giving advice yeah. to yourself is to literally not care what other people think of you. Like, it's mm-hmm. so, it's such a cliche, but it's just so true. Because, like, when you start caring about what other people think of you, you start you know, like adapting to what Mm. they want you to look like and what they want you to do. But as like, as soon as you like, you know, bounce back from that, you're like, you know, align with yourself and align with just like doing whatever you want. Like more things come to you, more Mm. opportunities come to you, like do what makes you happy rather than trying to like morph into all these different people to please everyone else. But yeah, I I still think care about what other people think of me because who doesn't to a certain extent, but like, as soon as you start changing yourself, you like start losing opportunities and actually losing your path to like actually get where you want to be, you know? Yeah. That's the advice I'd give myself. So. Do you think though that that's a, that's especially hard when you're on social media? Oh, t- right? that's what I'm saying. That's why I still said like, I still care what people think of me because that's basically your job is like to kind of do what makes others happy. But yeah. you have to like look at what is going to make me happy. And if you like stick to your guns and like stick to like, yeah. what you enjoy, you're going to get an audience that's even more yeah. um, devoted to you. Yeah. And, so like, what? actually gets you to those opportunities you really want to yeah. do, you know? So what do you think makes you happy? Makes me? Yeah. I don't know. I have a few things that make me happy, like... Apple Music. Apple Music. Uh, <laughs> not Glee. No, I'm kidding. Okay. Um, just traveling makes me happy. You know, yeah. being around people that I love makes me happy because a lot of the time, too, in L.A., it's hard to find genuine friends because it's all yeah. transactional all yeah, the time and yeah. you can tell. We're trying to change that, yeah. Yeah, you can just tell too when you meet people. But like having a good group of friends and like just, I like re- rejuvenate by hanging out with people that I love. I like don't really yeah. like being alone that much. But like, so yeah, just, you know, hanging out with friends, traveling, um, making content, I guess, that I actually enjoy making, Yeah. you yeah. know? Um, yeah, I would say that. And you're a good dancer. Thank you. The best yeah, answer. No, she great. tried to teach me to slow mo walk. Oh last my time god, we hung last out. time. And that was like in a, when was that? October? That was November. November. But it was crazy. I'm so bad at dancing, but Zoe really tried with me. I you think can I, you can be good at dancing though. Just you just find we, some we, rhythm. We'll we'll find out we, tomorrow. We, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow night. We'll find out tomorrow night. We'll yeah, find out we tomorrow will. night, and then we can retry the slow mo. We and, will and see how that goes, <laughs> and then we can do a before and after clip, and we can stitch. And That's what I'm saying. I'll probably got worse. No, I probably get better. I think it'll get better. 
So yeah. Well, thank you all for joining the Justice Vibing podcast. We are so happy to have Zoe here with us. Yes, um, thank you for having and me. Let's no, take thank you for being yeah, thank here. You for being yeah, here. Yeah, thank you for thank having me. This was so fun. No, we're so excited. Really, it's always yeah. a pleasure and a privilege to vibe with you. Of course. Let's go out on Soldier Boy. Soldier <laughs> Boy. <Sorry. in> <laughs> <laughs> Do you know Bye. Bye. I can't. Bye.